So, Cuvillaria, the fungal disease that affects the leaves. Well, it can affect the whole thing, eh? And, and so, and that's one of the first things we, I started working with Mark on, was he was just saying, hey, like, what is this? What can be done? Is it, okay, Cuvillaria, but, but how can we deal with it other than just, you know, a fungicide, obviously bulb treatment before planting, et cetera, et cetera, fresh plant material. And I know I remember the first time you asked, I said, well, I'm not sure, let me get back to you. Did some digging, thinking, looking at the, cause it's quite, it's quite odd the way, you know, the chlorosis happens. Yeah. It's, it's not your typical pattern, especially it's not a typical pattern that you'd see with a normal deficiency, nutrient deficiency. Mm. But I said, well, I have a suspicion it might have something to do with boron and or boron can help. So Mark started applying boron and started, did you notice the difference immediately? Or did it take some time? Yeah, it was very quick. It, it, it definitely slowed the, almost stopped the. Cause you started first with a full ear. Yeah. We, we did, we put, um, I think, two and a half kilograms through the drip. Okay. And then we put half a kg um, as a foliar. And then kind of just started yeah. regularly applying. We, yeah. But isn't it, so something that you've noticed, right, is you've gotten more bold with your application. Yeah, yeah, on. yeah. Now this year, so that was last year. This year we went, yeah, we went, uh, we were putting probably half a kilogram a month. And I think in the soil we've down. even upped. Shoot, yeah. We're hitting we're hitting over a kg per yeah. month. Yeah, yeah. In the soil as well, but that's, you know, it's amazing. You we continue to find okay, there is such a thing as boron toxicity. We you see yeah. it, and you know it when you see it. it yeah. I mean, it can totally take a crop down. But as many people, giants before us have said, like there's no such thing as boron, or excessive boron, as long as calcium is sufficient. Yeah. And of course, we've made a huge effort into that. In our crop nutrition program, we, we prioritize calcium. Yeah. And of course, you know, many people you talk calcium and they say, oh no, my pH is fine. I said, no, we're talking about nutrition. Yeah. We're talking about calcium as a, as a crop nutrient. Yeah. So as long as we're keeping those levels up and we're watching the saps, I will say the last sap analysis showed that we're finally we're finally getting that we're accumulating. Yeah. Now. I think we were around 10 and 12 parts per million um, in boron, both new and old leaf which is good, it's telling me we're finally gaining ground. Yeah. Um, and, but we do want to see calcium continue to come up. Yeah. But I think we're going, we, we have seen it appreciate and we'll continue to see it appreciate as soil mineralization happens better with the biology we have here, especially the fungal. Yeah. And, um, and then the rainmaker's helping that a load as well. I mean, the, the one, like the huge difference between this year and last year. Last year we, we ended up putting on just under half, uh, 505 kgs of boron. This year we probably closer to eight, nine. Oh, serious? And, and, uh, but the difference is there's leaves. Uh -huh. This time last year there's no leaves. They're gone. It's gone, yeah. Well, um, and I think we'll notice, well, we'll see. They're forecasting perhaps La Nina this yeah. coming year. <laughs> so, I mean, we've been fortunate yeah. to have a drier year for that. Yeah. So maybe we'll get a chance to have the ultimate test this coming year when we're ready. Yeah. And hit it with everything. There's definitely been a like a, you know, the, the actual immune system of the plant's mm. been much stronger. I mean, this when the Brazil growers came out, they said this isn't the problem. The main problem is this this spot that you get, which is Stegonospora, which mm. sort of collapses the whole plant very very quickly. Which we and, haven't seen much of. Yeah, and and this this is the introduction point for the, uh, the stegonospora. Okay. So by having the immune system mm -hmm. um, boosted, it's actually protected them from that. And I've seen it. You know, you you'll start getting this, this sort of covalera coming in, and then within a very short space of time, the whole leaf just turns into spots and collapses. Mm. And uh, they they never get too worried about the covalera if they can control the, the stegonospora. The stegonospora yeah. Which and we know we've seen that, but of course it's a challenge. We we see that in all in wheat. You'll see it in stripe rust, good yeah. healthy wheat. Okay, you'll get stripe rust, but then you'll yeah. see that boundary layer. The the plant physiology works as it should. Yeah. You get that abscisic acid, etc., going on, and it'll it sequesters it. And of course we know it's you have to have enough silica. You have to have yeah. enough calcium in order to to have that immune response and and to keep the, the structure safe. But I mean, so many things, for instance, zinc and copper, like it's amazing to me, the improvements we've seen just over using more zinc and copper. Yeah. But we know copper is so essential and zinc as well, but especially for the first, that first, um, basically in, in plant physiology, the, the first stage in dealing with 
reactive oxygen species, which always come as a result of, of an infection like this, you have to have that zinc and copper. Yeah. If, it's, if it's inefficient, or sorry, insufficient, then the plant just it doesn't have what it needs. Yeah. But these are cheap things. I mean, we're talking three, five, ten dollars per hectare yeah. applications throughout the season yeah. that provide. And so you're thinking like that's what I love. I mean, we tend to. It's, it's not about. It's it's not you know like organic by neglect or okay. Well, let's. It'd be, wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to? No, it's just it's preventative. So instead yeah. of spending these things on fungicides or things like that after we see the problem, we're just in advance making sure we're putting yeah. these on in sufficient affordable yeah. levels. Yeah. Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching our content. We really appreciate you and appreciate you watching our videos. Please like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing here. Also, look down in the description down below for our website, uh, link to our Regen Agronomy podcast, and our phone numbers and email, etc. Reach out to us, please, if you want to know more about the content you see here in the videos.